Hi everyone. In today's course, I'm going to show you how to do a monochromatic section. So we'll take something that looks like this and then we'll switch it down to monochrome view over here and we'll make it look like this. And so I actually made a previous video about doing monochromatic diagrams. It's very similar, but we are going to change some settings that preference the clipping plane settings. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to type in options, right? And then we're going to go down here to where it says view, right? We're going to click on view and then we're going to click on display modes, right? That's not a nice circle, but display modes right here. And then we're going to go down to monochrome over here, right? And then we're going to click on monochrome and then we're going to start adjusting some settings here. So take a pause and look at the settings that I'm going to adjust. So the first thing we're going to adjust is the background, right? We're going to make sure that it's solid color and that it's a color white, right? So if you go here, you'll select solid color and then pick white or pick any other color that you want, okay? And then for ground plane settings, we're not going to have any ground plane settings, okay? No ground plane settings. Uh, same thing with shading, no shading whatsoever. And then uh, for color material usage, we're going to select single color for all objects. So we're going to go here, and then we're going to make sure single color for all objects. And then we're going to make sure that there's no gloss and there's no transparency, and that uh, for me, I'm doing white, okay? So I'll do white for everything. Same thing for back face settings. We want to make sure, same thing, we want to do single color for all back, single color for all back faces. And then Again, gloss transparency or zero, zero, okay? So I'm gonna just clear that and then we're gonna go down. And so for the visibility, actually, I don't want to show curves. Let me get that on here. It's a preference if you want to. So it's it's your choice if you wanna show curves or not in your sections. I, I don't, but I'll keep it on for now. But in general, you're just gonna have uh, show edges and sh show silhouettes and show curves is a option if you want to. Everything else is going to be turned off, off. I'm putting an X, off, okay? So it's just these edges, silhouettes, and optional show curves that you can have checked on, okay? Now, down for your lighting method, definitely you're gonna have ambient occlusion on, okay? So you're gonna go down and select the ambient occlusion. Okay, so that's set. Then we're gonna go down to your objects over here, still under monochrome and for objects you're going to keep everything as default but when it comes to curves if you're going to have your curves on right you want to pick a color for your curves and make sure that it's on one okay don't go any thicker than one now for lines which is the most lines in clipping plane and shadows are the most important all right so we're not going to have any hidden lines so don't even worry about that you can even just make that one if you wanted to for edge line color, okay, you want these three, edge line color, silhouette, and width, you want them all to be a value of one, okay? You want also, so then you'll also select the setting here, use single color for all three. So single color for all edge lines, single color for silhouette lines, so all sing, you know, single, color, single color. What's important is that you wanna make sure that this color is lighter than your section or clipping plane color. And you'll see what I mean. So right now I have it as like this kind of like lavender blue, you know, but if I go down to my clipping plane, right, I'm gonna do show fills, right, and show edges, okay? And for my color color usage, I'm gonna do solid color, right? I'm gonna select solid color. And I, I do blue, I, typ I typically like to do blue when I do colors for like architectural drawings, I, I like to use blue if it's not black or gray. And then solid color again for uh, show edges. And then I'm doing blue for the edge color. And edge thickness, I'm doing six, okay? You don't have to do that if it's matching, but if you're gonna do a different color, then you need to do contrast. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Okay, and you'll see what I mean when I start showing you the actual options. Shadow is very important. Again, like I said in previous one, in the previous video, all of these are going to be just very low right? Just on the lowest. And then this one could be as at the default. But then for your shadows, I typically always match my shadow color with the actual colors I'm using for my lines. And then the shadow intensity, I definitely bring it down to no greater than 
thirty percent. So it's between like fifteen to thirty. If you do zero, you're gonna have zero shadows. So if you look here, there's a little bit of shadow here, right? If I drag this all the way to zero, it's gonna be like completely white. You see, now it's like just completely white. It looks like a drawing right now, right? Just it's like completely just white and whatever the actual uh, shading. So it's a matter of preference, to be honest. So if you like it like this, like really sharp, you can do that, right? Uh, and if you want to give it a little bit of shading, you can punch it, you know, up a little bit. You'll, you see now there's like a little bit of shadow here, you see? A little bit of shadow here, right? A little shadow under the table. But it still looks very white, you know? So it's really a matter of preference, whether you want it to be with shadow or not shadow, okay? So right now, I'll, I'll, I'll take the shadows off completely. So right now, this is like all just white and the actual color that you selected. If I go back to my clipping plane, right, and I change my fill color to, let's say, a solid white, right? Do you see how everything disappears? That's because there's no shadow. If you want to have a contrast of your fill and the cut line, you need to give it a, a shadow. You see, now, now things come back, right? So like if I came here and I change the clipping plane, I make this like a light, like a lavender. You see, now I'm gonna get contrast. The reason why it looks like this is because I'm, I'm zoomed in, if, zoomed out, excuse me. If I'm zoomed in more, it'll be more and more clean. But to be honest, when it comes to monochromatic sections, I like just to do all fill. Unless it's like a very simple geometry, then I can show contrast, you know? But since this has like so many pieces to it, I like to just keep everything the same, like the same cut and fill uh, color. And then what I'll do here is uh, make sure that I'm at the shadow level that I like. So like right now, you know, I like, I like it just a little bit like that, you know, just give a little bit of shadow for the courtyard. Uh, and then I do OK. And then you're basically done. Like, this is it, right? So you know, if I wanted, I wanted a bigger section, I can zoom out a little bit more. This one's like more, more of a zoomed in section here, right? So then the next important thing is I'm going to do view capture to file, OK? And so on view capture to file, I want to make sure that I do not modify my viewport settings, OK? So I'm going to keep it at the resolution that it is. And you see the scale. I'm going to keep the scale at 1. If you increase the scale or if you increase the resolution, it's going to, it'll be like, you know, at a higher rate, but it's going to thicken all of your back lines as well. All these lines are going to get thicker. So if you like exactly how it looks on the screen, then do not upscale. Just keep it at where it is and then just do OK, and make sure you save your file as a PNG. Do not save it as a JPEG, because the colors will come out different as a JPEG. Save it as a PNG. It's OK if you save it as a JPEG for like your final final, like on InDesign or Illustrator or whatever you're laying it out in. But on here, make sure you save it as a PNG and just give it whatever name you like. And I'm going to show you, you know, just the final results after I do that. So this is the final right here. This is the one that's more zoomed in. So I think it looks fantastic. And so you see, this is the reason why I want to make the lines lighter. You see up here? That's why in the settings, I made the lines lighter. So it's really important that, let me just go back and recap real fast. Let's go type in options. Right, so on monochrome, right, on curves, or excuse me, on lines, I, I used a lighter color. I used lighter colors compared to my clipping plane fill, right? So these lines are lighter because I don't want it to compete with the section, okay? So when we go here, you see, I don't want to compete with the section. I can have overlay text and you can read the text. I'm like zoomed out, but if I zoom in, it's like, just even I zoom in a little bit, it's easier to read, you know, you see? But yeah. And then this is like the more zoomed out version. I mean, so this tree right here is being cut by the clipping plane, right? I mean, it honestly looks like birds perching on a tree, but this is just the, the tree being cut by the clipping plane. I could have pushed the tree back. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So, I mean, it's very quick. I did not use any Illustrator, no Illustrator whatsoever. I just put it in InDesign and did some lines in InDesign, and that's about it. So 
I hope you found this helpful. And this is definitely, you know, like if you're on a time crunch or if you just don't want to use multiple programs, then just, you know, you can do something like this and it looks fantastic. And again, you know, if you don't want shadows, just take the shadows all the way down to zero so that it looks like a line, it looks more like a line drawing. But if you have any questions or comments, just leave in the comment section below. And if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe so we can help this channel grow. Thank you.